Hey, hey, let's plan for that Cabo trip we've been talking about. Actually, let's do the whole Europe tour. I'm in the mood. Are you sure? What about your project? Well, you know, it's too hard. It's getting challenging. I don't know. I'll just skip this one. But you said that this is your purpose and you will not give up on this project no matter what. I did not call you for a lecture. Plus, I'm still young. I have plenty of time. There's always another project I can work or I can always go back again when I feel like it. Focus on the trip for okay. now. If you so say excited. so, let's go. All right, I'm going to take a nap. When I wake up, I'll book the ticket and we are ready to go. Bye-bye. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Who are you? I am you, the future you. What? Really? Oh, hey. Are you living the best life? Did you create a legend? What legend are you talking about? I still stay in the same job for 30 years and currently living in my daughter's garage. You got beer, cigarette, what? cash? I can use some. What do, you, what do you mean? What about all our plans Nothing ever projects? came through. You keep blowing money. You're canceling on every project. That's why we're stuck in this situation. No, I, I don't believe this. Can we hit the restart button somehow? Honey, I don't have the energy or the strength. No. It's all your fault. Your fault, your fault, your fault. No, no, no. Oh my God, it's a dream. Oh, oh my God. Thank God. No, I, I cannot do this. This cannot happen to me. Let's talk about how to become Brazilian so that won't happen to you. Before the how, let's talk about the why. Beside the obvious regret that you just witnessed, because in this channel, we dive deep. Hi, it's your soul sister, Delilah. Welcome to my channel. Here are the chapters. Let's dive right in. I am here to share my lesson and mistake so you don't have to make the same mistake that I did. In this case, I'm your future old self coming back to remind you. When you are resilient, these are the characteristics that you are going to build. Emotionally regulated, stay calm during any critical crisis or moment. Second one is effectively dealing, facing with problem using logic, reasoning, and clarity. Third is recover and bounce back fast from any challenge and adversity. Fourth is to open new way of thinking of new solution and determined to make it happen. And last one is to find satisfaction in learning, evolving, processing, ready to solve any life puzzle. Isn't it worth it to become resilient after you gain all of that? Now let's move on to the how. Be realistic and understand that there are nothing such as overnight success. As much as I'm very Delulu, and I expect things to happen because that's how you're supposed to do when you manifest, you are being delusional. I'm still a very logical individual who needs to remind myself of this every single time, especially when time gets tough. Just like the iceberg model by Hemingway, there are just simply no shortcut. You need to accept that you are in it for the long haul. Every resilient person work on their endurance. This is not an option, it's a requirement. They turn it into a habit. Find your strengths, purpose, the why, and start honing it. Now, if you have many different strengths, watch this video and find out which one will bring you the true why. Don't misunderstood between a passion and a purpose. When you hit a roadblock, know that failure is when you learn the most. I mean, victory is to celebrate. There are also lessons in victory. But there are a lot more deeper, much necessary for growth lesson in failure. These are the most powerful lessons that you will need in able to elevate in life. Use the time and challenge to cultivate your craft. When you hit stagnation, it's also when you have no choice but to learn to find a way and to become the most creative. This sharpen your creativity. Let's talk about how to stay calm during a crisis. Because with resilience, you need to learn to stay calm. I want you to understand that you can't control your feeling to always be positive and hopeful. You will get angry. There will be time where you want to give up. You will feel so frustrated and unfair. No one is born calm and resilient. 
This takes practice and a lot of practice as well as lesson and leveling up. Next thing is I want you to set an expiration date for you to process your feeling. What does that mean? I don't want you to rush through the process so much that you ended up suppressing your emotion and feeling and it's going to creep up manifest into a lot more challenge. You might just give up and feel burnt out because if you keep focusing on the positive, which is good, you keep wanting such a positive outcome, you might find it impossible to cope should a less favorable one arise. You will suppress rather than accept. If you dwell on anger, misery, and victim mindsets, self-pity for too long, you'll make it more difficult to get out from these emotions. You don't want to make this a pattern, a blueprint of how you are going to handle the future circumstances, challenges that will be coming your way. This is when I need you to get an outsider's point of view because sometimes when you are the insider, you cannot make the decision. Someone that is more optimistic and supportive of you. What would they do if they were you? And then imagine that you are the person with the problem come to you and solve it as the third view person. So you are still solving your problem, but not from your view. As a third person who is emotionally disconnected from the situation. When you set an expiration day for this, it could be anywhere from three hours, five hours, 12, 24 hours to the whole week depends on the emotional situation hardship. After that, you must make yourself move on. That leads us to number three. Let's effectively deal with problems using logical and clarity. Let's take a look at problem mindset versus solution mindset. So the problem mindset will focus on the problem. They can only think of what is going wrong. They can't snap out from it. Stuck in that mindset. They would look for anything, anyone to blame but themselves. With a solution mindset, you will look at this as this is your problem to solve. It's nobody else. You will sit there and brainstorm all the solution or what is the possible solution. And this is when you are not judging yourself. You are not trying to think too much. You're just writing everything down and get as much out from your brain as possible. And then you can look at it later to see which is the best solution for this problem. You have the courage to get up and resume your life. Take ownership for yourself. You are at no one's mercy but your own. This is also the reason why the more self-growth that I've learned, the more that I try to solve problem on my own. I've learned to make the decision on my own because I don't like to keep seeking for other people's opinion too much. First, I'm not going to blame them. If things go wrong, this is my own decision. And let's say if I'm really confused and I really need somebody else to tell me their opinion, and if I decide to take it, I am not going to turn it back on them and say, you make me do this. That is the level of maturity and resilience that you have to own up for yourself. And that is the true solution focus mindset. This is how you recover quickly, bounce back from any challenge and adversity. This is how you build your momentum, mindset, confidence, self-respect, and beat your self-doubt. This is how you start finding satisfaction in the learning process, in evolving, ready to solve any problem that the life puzzle throw at you. The more of these experiences you go through, the tougher you become. And the faster you will always get back on track whenever you fall behind or have a moment of confusion, whenever there are problems coming your way. And here are the three reminders that you will need for this video. Don't expect things to work out immediately and lose your motivation. Don't get frustrated when reality doesn't reflect instant success. Don't give up, especially if you haven't received instant gratification. Money, recognition, views, subscriber, likes on social media. Let's talk about what happened if you keep falling and it doesn't matter how hard you try, okay? So there are two things that you can look into. The first thing is you must find a better solution. Remind yourself of your why. A lot of people I notice they complain, but they're not doing anything else. They're not trying to actively find way to be creative, to get on top of the game and be different because 
If there are many people who are doing the same project as you, you must show that you are different. Just like my YouTube channel, I will start adding skit in and sometimes I would start doing makeup. You know, life is a testing land. You get to test as many times as you can to see what will take you there. So don't give up just because how you do one thing don't work. This is when you need to come up with more idea and solutions. And second thing I want you to distinguish, is this a dip or should you really call it quit? A dip is a period of time to learn, process, evolve and improve your knowledge, skill and start with new habits. These times are needed for any successful business people because this is the beginning where you get all motivated and then this is the end where you get to where you want. This dip part, everybody have to experience it. Some are shorter, some are longer. And the time frame, unfortunately, we can't control. But what we can do is we can use this time frame to level up your skill, your game, to bring yourself to the top level of that 5% so you can truly rise. Don't look at this as a waste of time. You can't skip this, unfortunately. Anything you learn, you will always be able to use it for future. I've done so many jobs and every single job helped me elevate to become who I am today. This is how you polish your competence. I remember there were days that I would do 10 skits in the same day. How was I able to organize and each skit, I'm like three, four different character. That's a lot of character, but I'm able to do that because I do the same thing when I was in culinary business, when I had to do 13 courses and serve so many people at the same time. So don't think anything is a waste. If it's not a dip, then it's time to quit. And don't freak out because I'm not asking you to quit. I always hear winners don't quit and quitters don't win. That's not necessarily true. On the Thing Media podcast, I've heard this before. Winners quit all the time. They just quit so that they can shift their focus on something else that would lead to a new solution. They quit the old way. There's really no point of walking into a dead end if you don't see anything change at all. You need to quit your old way, quit being stubborn and try to think of something new. So quit smart and quit intentionally. Just like sometimes you need to take a break, otherwise you'll be burned out. That's a smart way to quit. Quit temporary to build bigger and better. Hello, did you book the ticket yet? Hey, I'm not gonna make it. Oh yeah, I rethink it over. I'm young now, so I need to really chase my dream. And you're right, it's my purpose. I cannot okay. just toss it out the window. I am better than that. I'm not a quitter. Girl, I'm really proud of you. Oh, thanks for your support. I got this. We can celebrate after. You are young. You have plenty of time. So you should put your best in what truly matter, especially if this is your purpose. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be here. Love you. Bye-bye. Love ya. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video and the little skit that I did. If you do, please let me know and I will make more content like that. I hope I brought a new perspective to you about mental resilience. It's beyond just regretting, wishing at the chances, challenge that you should have taken. It's funny because people always want the big things in life, but they don't want to deal with adversity. And adversity is what really bring those big things in life. You have to accept it and stop looking at it so negative. I like to give credit to Evie Pompora's teaching and her book, Bulletproof. Read her book if you haven't. I love it so much. Let's become bulletproof and change our identity. If you find value in this video, please don't forget to like, share, and leave in the comment. I love to know what you think. And smash that subscribe button to support me so I can have more motivation and resilience to make more videos. If you like this, you should enjoy these too. See you in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.